Hello, Story Wilson with RSW Solutions. This is the 40 CAN diagnostic software tool that is paired with an ELM327 based hardware transceiver. So this is an important function of this software tool is the uh, diagnostic logs and the debug logs. So I'm going to show you quickly how to, uh, how to create these log files, where to find them, and then what to do with them afterwards. So every time you complete a diagnostic session, those diagnostic fault codes uh, are stored in a, in, a, in a diagnostic file. And then if you also, if you choose to do so, you can trigger a debug log file that is very important for uh, if something goes wrong in the communication process or you're having trouble with the software tool, a hardware tool, you can trigger this debug log and email it to me. So let's start a diagnostic session real quick so we can have something to work with. Go ahead and plug in your ELM327 device. You'll hear the Windows enumeration sound. We have the 40 can diagnostic software open and up and running. Um, there we go, one COM port detected, COM port 5, connect. Hopefully we are connected to the ELM327 device. Today we're going to do a quick diagnostic session with an air suspension module. We're going to open communications. Everything's good, transmit receive, status is green, read fault codes. There we go. And then we're going to close the session. Now, before you close the software tool, you want to go to the tools menu and say store logs right here. Second option down from the tools menu, store logs. And that's it. So a log file has also been created. So if you want to uh, check out the text files, they are located in the uh, um, RSW Solutions program folder group under program files under your uh, C, C drive and under the 40 can folder you'll see a couple directories and want to go to the one that says logs and so here we see two files uh, with a date and this is the, the first one's a diagnostic file the diagnostic file is created every single time you open and read faults on a module so here is our uh, diagnostic session that was before it's time stamped and this is helpful for you to have a running log of, of all the diagnostic sessions you perform on your vehicle. This happens every single time regardless of what you do. Um, every time you open a communication session and read faults, it will store this file for you. A new file is created every day. Now the debug log file was created when you said store logs. And this is a good file to send to me. So if there's a problem, if you and I are having an email discussion, uh, an exchange, and we're having trouble getting the tool to work, or you've got some strange results that you want me to look at, you go ahead and store the log file and send me this file that says debug log on the date that you actually perform the operation. And that's it. So hopefully that will give you a quick indication of how to send me a debug log file so we can start working through any problems you're having. Thanks for watching.